Okay, so what are the main challenges in conveying public history today? Public history is a complex uh, discipline uh, who for uh, its nature involves a lot of different people and uh, the big challenge is uh, to bring together all these people and make them discuss about what public history could be for the society in um, general. What do you think public history could be for society? It's a great opportunity, uh, not easy to do, but uh, is the opportunity to not only to share historical content uh, uh, for common people to the common people, but is to push uh, the people to participate to history, to make people understand that they are doing history, they can write history, they can uh, uh, try to understand history at uh, different levels. So the only way to be, in my opinion, to do public history is uh, making people to participate in doing history itself. Not only reading, not only uh, try to discuss a film, a movie, but doing history. It means uh, making something. And uh, how, how in-depth can the general public go outside of academia, do you think? Uh, I think that we can, uh, we as a, as a professor, as a teacher, we can do a lot of things. Uh, the, the important thing is not to put ourselves as someone who is explaining, uh, merely explaining history to people, but uh, build some project in order to uh, make, the, uh, make the other understand what is the, uh, the um, job of the historian and the fact that they can be historian, for instance, uh, participating to the transcription of uh, some um, primary sources, or, uh, or pro another example to um, look at uh, their monuments, epigraphies or statues or things that they have in their town, and try to collect images and not only collect images but commented to comment their images, to try to discover uh, um, information, uh, to discuss them, to understand what uh, they, uh, the importance of the, this uh, object are in their life. And there is another level, I think deeper, about the, this participation and the, the role of the public historian, is about try to deal with a social contrast. Uh, we uh, now we have uh, in our town a lot of different people, a different culture, a different histories. So uh, if you if we deal with these histories in a professional way, but trying to involve people, we can really help to calm down people, uh, to try to make people uh, speak each other, and not to and uh, really help the the society in this way. And the only person who can really deal with all this culture and this history is the historian, but the public historian, the, the historian who is thinking to the public, to the public, sorry. And how much has the internet helped empower people to explore their own community's history? It's basic. So uh, what I'm thinking that the public historian should be a digital historian. It's something that is needed, it's not optional. Uh, a public historian uh, could be, uh, could do also, and he, he or she should do things in the normal world, in physical world. Okay, so organize events, making uh, exhibition, uh, collaborating with the museum, uh, and so on. But he and she could, uh, should, uh, knows about the uh, internet and the digital stuff and digital tools because they, they are compulsory. We need them to do a good public history. And do they not undermine the traditional forms of long-form history writing? I think the traditional form of history writing is a doom to die. Not completely. Uh, the, I think maybe there will be in the future some uh, survivors, but I think to traditional history now is a sort of titanic ship that is doomed to to die, uh, to be um, 
put in a sort of a prison, uh, self-made prison. So uh, the only way to make a society aware that this, the historian is useful to the society is doing public history. I, I love, I love to do traditional history, but it's not uh, more, it's not any more perceived by society as useful. And when the society don't perceive you as a useful, it means that uh, your discipline uh, is uh, something of op op optional, and uh, this is uh, mean uh, death. Not completely, not the disappearance of history, of course, but uh, something that is very similar to disappearance. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.